Hello everyone. So today I thought I'll probably share uh, some ideas, some uh, some some tips for you for uh, uh, making unlimited content. Now uh, I make of course daily videos, and uh, for me I have mentioned this by the way on on my channel many times. I try not to spend too much time on making a video, but I, I think at the same time I feel good if I make a video. There are some direct benefits, there are a lot of indirect benefits of making a video. Now, I do a lot of things. Of course, I make uh, daily videos, but I also blog, I also write books, I make a lot of content, I do trainings, and uh, this is of course focused on the content creation side of things. And I think these days, irrespective of uh, what you are doing, you can be in any field. I think it is uh, a bit important that you have some online presence, you are sharing content, you are basically producing content. And especially if you are doing something uh, on your own, if you are a freelancer, if you are a contractor, if you are running your own company, then it is actually very important because uh, you need to shout about what you do. Uh, now, the thing is that you may find it difficult to produce content. It could be any content, of course. Now, let us take the example of videos. And this video is about how to never uh, uh, reach a point in your life where you are out of ideas. I know sometimes uh, you need some time off. Sometimes you don't really feel like making videos or producing content, but I think uh, if you do it in such a way so that uh, you don't have to think about it. And that is where uh, org mode comes into picture. And the video is actually about using org mode to basically store everything uh, that you have to do. Now, of course, org mode is like a personal task management slash to-do slash project management system. And using org mode, you can do a lot of wonderful things. But what I do normally is I rely on org mode for uh, almost all the things that I do uh, for my personal uh, task management, especially when I am not collaborating with others. And I think it is very important because you follow or you build your own system. It could be just a notepad. I think it is not really important if you are uh, using org mode, but it's, it is actually more important that you follow or, or you have a system. Now, when it comes to using org mode, what I normally do, and before that, I just want to talk, talk about my role, my, my, my main job. So I am an Atlassian consultant. I provide uh, consultation around uh, Atlassian tools like Jira. And uh, because I'm a consultant, I have to work with other people. And uh, apart from being a, a consultant where, of course, I have to do a lot of things uh, within, of course, Atlassian ecosystem, but there are a lot of other things that I have to do like I work on a uh, uh, lot of open source based tools and I just use Linux like for 99% of my computing. So usually I have, uh, I mean, I, I'm a techie. I'm always you not know, doing something like I'm always solving a problem. I'm, I'm always fixing things. I'm always interested in uh, learning new things. I'm always interested in uh, optimizing my workflow, how, how I can do more. And whenever I do things, I keep a track of it somewhere in a, org file. For example, just to give you a simple example, if let us say I am uh, learning about Jira REST API, of course, uh, if I'm doing something like uh, maybe I'm, I'm writing a small shell script, of course I do that and I commit my code. I, I do have a like a repository, some public, some private, but uh, whenever I'm doing some technical or kind of technical work, I also try to document it somewhere. For example, if I talk about my work, like I, I, I of course uh, do consultation and because I do consultation around uh, Atlassian tools like Jira, I have a lot of training uh, outlines or different courses. And uh, usually I have like, like a big org file where I store everything. And whenever, whenever I'm doing anything, I basically make sure that first I update my personal documentation and when I'm building my own uh, uh, or writing my own book, which is also my personal notes slash uh, my outline for training, 
also it is basically my bible i basically tag some of those headers or some of those uh, tasks in my org file that i want to potentially uh, make or also talk about or, or basically if let's say i'm learning if i've learned something right or i i have to basically learn something or i'm i've done something that i think i can also share i just tag that particular entry with a video tag that is it so whenever i have to make a video i make daily videos sometimes i just you know start recording my computer and i i start start recording like start running my my fmpeg script and i just just start start talking about something but if i'm let us say lack of ideas i just open my org mode i just uh, search for all those entries where there is a to do item with a video tag and basically if i open that particular task i have i have the description it could be anything it could be talking about something it could be talking about some best practice it could be uh, talking about some automation or maybe sharing a small script whatever basically if i rely on org mode to make uh, uh, a list of things that i need to do in general and some of those things are also basically making a video and uh, i do that on a regular basis like if you have like like a lot of org files and if you have a lot of to do entries if you have a lot of video tags or whatever tag that you want to use then you will never really run out of uh, ideas and whatever you're doing in your field just make sure that uh, you make a list somewhere and organize it in some form so that you can use it you can reuse it you can uh, update it you can search for it and uh, you can talk about it and it will take some time but if you're using org mode and if you start feeding it like stuff then it will also help you in a way you should build your own system and uh, on my channel of course i talk a lot about emacs and org mode and i thought i'll probably you know make this video just to share that uh, if you if you're using a tool like org mode or a system then uh, i mean use notepad if you have to but the problem with using a notepad is that uh, although it's great that you write but you need some ability to search and uh, you know find things at the at the same time of course uh, uh, notepad is not really a physical i uh, not i mean it is a physical thing but it's not really stored somewhere digitally so you can't really manipulate it you can't really you know use that information uh, some people of course use like digital notepads but what is the point uh, either store it in a in a format that you can search or just use notepad so uh, but use a system that is that is the main thing and if you're using something like org mode you will actually use org mode as your uh, second brain and uh, if you search online you will find plenty of examples you will find a lot of uh, use cases where people have talked about this use case like using org mode to basically run their life or live their life to plan whatever they want to do in their life and to an extent it is true but at the same time uh, don't overdo it i think you can't really use a system or a tool for doing each and everything in your life you have to of course find a balance and when it comes to content production i think uh, especially if you're doing things on your own like your own personal task management thing that you want to do without collaborating or without engaging with someone else then org mode there is there is nothing like org mode i have not i've never really seen anything like org mode and of course to be honest using org mode is not only really for everyone if usually people who use who use org mode they of course are techies i i don't really want to say geeks but they are usually techies they are usually comfortable with command line because of course you are working on or emacs it will take many months just to figure out how emacs work and usually these people use linux not always but usually uh, of course you can do the same thing on mac and also on windows but uh, if you are on windows or maybe on mac and if, if you want to of course improve your life in general think about using uh, linux think about using or mode or emacs give it some time in the beginning it might seem like too much you 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 might feel that you're wasting your life but in a way you are uh, investing and you will soon start getting returns of your time that you have invested learning emacs and org mode all right that is it that is it uh, I, i just thought i'll make this video and uh, share my thoughts bye bye